Sister Toyo? What? You're a student in the class. You forget? Old woman forget? In 
the name of Jesus, they destroy us. How many, how many uh, anger do we say we have? Stages of anger. How many? Okay, what are they? Huh? Rage, what is rage? Uncontrollable anger. I don't do it. Hallelujah. Somebody rage. When did they rage? They destroy things, yes. Yes, that's rage. Sister Judith. I mean, Sister Judith. Yeah? Yeah? Resentment. Hallelujah. What is resentment?
with uh, ways to handle it and I say let's just complete it tonight, hallelujah. And I put it here in the last Bible study, it was stipulated that the tendency to be angry is in every man. Every man carries it. And God is in the heart of every man. There are situations that can make you angry. Jesus Christ was angry. God himself was angry. God saw what he could handle. He's angry what? And the Bible says he regretted. Creative man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because he found out that the work of the hand of men are what are evil continually. Hallelujah. Anger is most dangerous of all emotion. And we say to him, anger is what is an emotion? How you feel when we are talking about offense? We said no, you just get irritated. And anger gets, I mean, we got angry because many cases we get just get irritated. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The sight of some people, you cannot just handle. You just get irritated. Some of us, when we see some people, we just get angry without anything. I have a sister. The last time she saw me, you will see her back down on her face. Wait till I do. Did that do? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But I don't care. Oh, who cares? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You get angry because you saw me. God will tell you, amen. You are not hurting me, you are helping me. I know that. I know my God can remove anger. 
Hallelujah. God can deal with it. A, a stubborn person, a real, a, 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 Oh, 
Hallelujah. And I wonder what, no, let somebody help us to read it. Amen. Hallelujah. Sons of Jacob, you know what? Luke chapter 9, 51 from 50. Let's do it from 51. Amen. 54 was where they called them sons of Jacob. To 56, quick. You don't open Bible again? Yes, read it louder. Yes, sir. They went to. Jerusalem, yes. And sent messengers. Can people project it? Is there anybody over there? Yes, yes go ahead. And as they went, they entered the village of Jerusalem. Look, chapter 9, verse 51. Yes. And as they went, they entered the village of the Samaritans to prepare for me. So they did not receive me because his face was set for the glory of Jerusalem. Yes, sir.
I miss that for a Amen. The only person that is younger than me is Gino. Amen. They are warriors to the call. Hallelujah. And all of them are faithful to me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nigeria is not Nigeria. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. All those things I need to learn. Humility and everything, I didn't learn it. Because everybody is doing like this. Hallelujah. But when God wants to use you, Hallelujah, He will deal with you. God will help us in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Say, so don't you know the kind of spirit you carry? And many of us who have neglected those spirits, they are dead. But yet, we didn't let it, let it flourish. But God will help us in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. The Bible called them the sons of thunder. Amen. Apparently, they, they, they got those spirits from their parents or from their fathers. Hallelujah. 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 In the name of Jesus. And God, remove your peace. Like I said earlier. And God, we remove your peace. Amen. You are angry. Your heart is, is panting like this. Amen. Hallelujah. You are sweating. Uh -uh. <laughs> I thought the blessing that you are angry with is the one supposed to be. You are the one saving. Who is under punishment? Hallelujah. You are punished. Hallelujah. And then we are sweating as if they, 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 they are roasting something on their head. Hallelujah. Sweating. Who is on the punishment you are? Why don't you just let it go and be at peace? Hallelujah. When that person will just show up, you'll be happy before. Everything you have in a good environment. But because you are just so, something you do is just doesn't you when you see him or her, you just get angry. All those joy is just paralyzed. Who is suffering? That's happy now. And you have a person. This is what's happening. Sister T who doesn't even know what you are going through. He thought you know what hey!
your blessing, your job, your peace, all that you need. Hallelujah. So what danger in anger? Hallelujah. You lose your focus. Hallelujah. And all you develop, you just develop critical spirit. Hallelujah. And it's you. You just be barking like a dog. Hallelujah. Before they say anything, you just you will jump up. Little thing, boom, is your voice. Hallelujah. <laughs> we were in the meeting. Hallelujah. And then, without any cause, somebody just was there. Ah, what happened just now? We now find out that he's being angry before he gets to the meeting. And uh, he, uh, we have he was angry before of us in the meeting. So the little thing we said, he goes back. How many of you have seen that before? You just wonder, ah, what are we talking about now? What could prompt this one now? What level of anger is this one? What we are doing here is not, that's not what that there is. Hallelujah. You get critical in your mind. God just needs to help us. Hallelujah. I wrote here, I said, you can't be angry and have right relationship with God. Are you with me? There is no way. In the place of prayer in your heart. Let somebody have me no, uh, read uh, Matthew chapter 5, 21 to 26. Quickly, please. We need to finish very well. Yes. Yes, microphone tonight. Yes, sir. I say unto you that whosoever is angry with his brother, which has a cause, yes. shall be in danger of the judgment. Yes. And whosoever shall say to his brother, Raka, uh -huh. shall be in danger of the council. Uh -huh. But whosoever shall say, Thou fool, shall be in danger of hellfire. Uh -huh. Therefore, if thou bring them in He said, he is, come, come. He, you, you are angry with your, your, your brother or sister. You want to give them anything. You are caught. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. I, I don't take things from them. And yet, when you are angry, and you, you say you are dancing, and go and did drop money, it's a lie. Hallelujah. It's Ikabo. God has rejected that. It's an anger tema. It's a fault. It's an accord. Let it be an accord. That's what the Lord Jesus Christ was saying that morning. Uh, uh, someone on the mount. Yes. Yes. <coughs> so therefore, if thou bring thy gift to the altar and die and tell the memories that thy brother has fought against you. Hallelujah. That is your angry. Hallelujah. What happened? Verse 24. Believe here thy gift before, before the altar. And go thy way, first be reconciled to thy brother, and then come back and offer thy gift. Hallelujah. How many of us are learning new things tonight? Hallelujah. God says, I'm not interested in your gift. You cannot please me. You cannot flow close to me. Your service is to me. It's it come up. It's an antenna. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not close to accepting that from you. The Lord does this to help us in the name of Jesus. In Genesis 4, 1 to 8, that was the case of, uh, of, of Cain. No wonder God didn't receive the, the, the offering of Cain. Hallelujah. He was so angry. Amen. Even when he, after he has killed his brother, and God says, Where is that brother? You see the answer. You saw that you knew God was angry. Hallelujah. You know, you know, you know the kind of uh, answer that anger will produce. That was a typical one. Am I my brother's figure? That was the answer. Hallelujah. God just needs to deliver us in the name of Jesus. And what happened? There was a great cost laid upon him. Hallelujah. Is it mark the place mark upon him? He said, You'll be back that one. Ah, I don't want to be back upon in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And that's not for people to back up on. Hallelujah. They are not accepted. When he's coming like this, people say, ah, that angry man is coming. Don't play with him. God will deliver us. God will deliver us. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says that if you will not control yourself, hallelujah. You cannot control yourself. You are like a city without a wall. Anything penetrates. Like I said, you are honorable. Anything comes in. Attacks comes in. Devil makes you. Hallelujah. No. It will fail. It rises upon you. Just stay here. 
God will deliver us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God wants us to deal with our enemies. Favorably. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That yeah, Proverbs chapter 8, I mean chapter 25, 8, 10, and 8. Quickly. Hallelujah. We want to, to deal with us quickly. Quickly. 28. Proverbs 25, 8, and 10. 25, 8, and 10. Yes, the microphone tonight. Oh, yeah. Hello. Go down on foot hastily to try. Okay. Say, do not go hastily to try. Yes, Let's now go on to what to do in the end of the You will not be confused. Amen. Yeah. And amen. You see, when you, you have calculated everything, you want to do abstract it away. But when anger comes in, you lose track. There's no room. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Everything just blows. Amen. You don't get it, just make mess of yourself. Why? Because of that. Amen. And the devil knows. Hallelujah. You are, you are going to get they are going to set to matter. Amen. You have laid that all the way you are going to do your own. And they will see that person as a bad person. But when you get there, and I just come upon you. Everything just <laughs> hallelujah. And the other one who is cool and gentle. <laughs> hallelujah. Is it cool with you? He just lay it down and see yourself. You see yourself. <laughs> Hallelujah. Quickly get out of here. Amen. I don't know what to do. Okay, read it properly. What do what you do at the end? Yes. When thy neighbor has put thee to shame. Hallelujah. Debate thy thy boss with thy neighbor himself. And, and his government is sitting in trouble. Hallelujah. Let's eat that here. Hallelujah. To put thee to shame. Hallelujah. Let's get it turned on to the way. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord will deliver us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. He said, rather in 21 and 22, say, when your enemy, your enemy is hungry, feed him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, by that you are putting, you are heaping what? Hold on fire upon him. Hallelujah. And, and I like that. Amen. In fact, that's why I want to feed my uncle. <laughs> Hallelujah. You might be single, very, very low, support him in that area. So say, give him. Say, give him. If we switch you back, then yeah, don't give him water, give him drink. And if we are not wishing people, just that. Uh, he said, What are you doing? Uh, all that you are, uh, all that is wishing against you is money. He said, You are giving full of fire. Hallelujah. If you don't want to do it, you don't want to do it at all. Remember that one. That by so doing, you are giving full of fire for that person. So even if you don't want to be favorable with your, your, your enemy, do that. Hallelujah. Remember that and do that. Hallelujah. And their life will be better off. That's what you have to say amen to that. Quickly, how to manage, how do you manage your anger? You have to manage it. Amen. Number one, identify the fact that identify the fact that you are an angry man. Amen. Before you can deal with anger and overcome it, you need to recognize it. Recognize the fact that you are what? You are an angry man. Amen. Hallelujah. When you recognize it, that, oh God, and honestly, until that, I'm talking from quite practical view now, until that, until I knew that I easily get angry, I, I didn't overcome it. Hallelujah. I won't say that I'll totally overcome it, amen, because I, I said, as a woman, being, you will still get happy sometimes, amen. Hallelujah. But as you know, I'm a gentleman now. Hallelujah. I just don't want to be a gentleman. Ah, don't drive me off. My own so you want to drive me? Hallelujah. Oh, you know that? No, I wasn't. Amen. Hallelujah. I was a good man in town park. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. You are just seeing some crazy because God has not dared. <laughs> that man was a rescue. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. And that was it. The Lord must just help us in the name of Jesus. So you must first of all recognize it. And when you want to recognize it, you will be able to deal with it. Look at, look at uh, David and Nathan. When David, when Nathan came in the book of 2 uh, Samuel chapter 12, verse 13, 
when the time met him. Hallelujah. You did this, you did this, you did this. God said, ah, he said, did. Let somebody have to read that last chapter. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. I have sinned against the Lord. Hallelujah. He said, what did he say? When, when the matter was brought to his, his senses came, he was doing it. Not knowing that he was, and when he saw it, he said, I have what? I have sinned against the Lord. Number one thing you need to do, identify the fact that you have God an angry person. Hallelujah. When you are angry, when you find out at that, Hallelujah. There are other things you need to do. Hallelujah. In chapter 51 of Psalm, in chapter, in chapter 51, Psalm 51, verse 4. Hallelujah. David was able to say by himself, say, against thee, thee only advise, say, and talk, he realized what he was. Hallelujah. He knew what he was. Hallelujah. And that's what could work. And with all those things, when he got still loving, in fact, God wants you to know who you are. Take credit for who you are. Hallelujah. And beg God to help you. Are you with me tonight? Hallelujah. He said, yes, I have seen. Hallelujah. He said, against thee, the only have I seen, and not this evil in thy sight. Hallelujah. Not in the sight of any man, only you, O oh God. He said, that thou might tell me, justify when thou speakest, and be clear when thou judgest. If you kill me now, you are right. You are justified. If you don't bless me anymore, you are justified. I don't want it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. When you are the body, it falls. Hallelujah. What you need to do is you confess it. You go back to God. So the person says, oh, no, I know that I have sinned. The next thing is for you to do what? To confess it. Oh, God, help me. I'm an angry man. I have messed up. I have trespassed. Those areas you said that you not trespass. Hallelujah. And what will God do? Hallelujah. The Lord will forgive you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says, Seek the Lord while you may be found. Say, Call upon him when he's near. Let the wicked forsake his ways, and the unrighteous man, what? He stopped. And let him come to thee. To God. And what will he do? You are abundantly pardoned. Amen. May God pardon us tonight. That's what you have been saying. Amen to that. Amen. When you confess it, Proverbs 28 13. Hallelujah. The Bible says, He that covereth his sin shall not what? Shall not be But he that confesseth it and do what? And forsake it shall what? Receive mercy. Hallelujah. Many at times you cannot control it. We are all human beings, we cannot control it. But when you are identifying it, quickly go back to God and say, Lord, help me. I have gone if you don't help me. And the Lord will strengthen you in that area. I thought somebody would help me say, Great amen to that. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. When we confess it, we just deal with it. Amen. Joseph and his brother in Genesis 15, 15 to 20, they dealt with him. They were angry against each other. Is that also? Let me tell you, his brother was not happy. When did they find, when they find that he was, he was, he was the prime minister, you think you'll be happy? That was not where they were expecting him. Ah! This one made you woo -woo. Hallelujah! Ah! What did he want to do? It's what they find themselves. They didn't have it. And in that chapter 15, the Bible says, when their father died, when the father was alive, they, 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 they still go. Amen. The father, the father, Joseph, we did. They went again and said, hey, let's, let's finish it. Hallelujah. He argued it out. Hallelujah. And what did he say? He said, You guys meant it for evil. In, in, order, in another way, I'm not going to agree with you. When I was in the prison, I could be angry. Hallelujah. When the will of God has not come to pass, I said, Hey, you are the one that caused it. I will not have been here. God says, I will be king. I will be king. I will be on top. Think what my brother has been doing to. Hallelujah. You guys meant it for evil. But God meant this for God. For good. Hallelujah. Can somebody say amen to that? Amen. Hallelujah. We are in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Just know that Romans 8 28 says, All things work together for good. Amen. I cannot be angry with some people now when they come to ministry. I can't. Because what they meant for evil, 
God told me to go to lift me up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today we are we shake hands together. We die together. Hallelujah. What the thoughts will happen to me is not what I do. Hallelujah. You don't know, you know what we went through in my in the ministry. Hallelujah. But we are what we have today by the grace of God. Hallelujah. We are what we have today. It's only the grace. So what they meant for evil, God told me to do. Hallelujah. And when we remember that, I've told you, it was not only on first. And when that, that man of God met me, you know, he called me in, a, in another church. He said, hey, hey, we need to talk. So he called another pastor. So when we met, he said, you mess up. Hallelujah. He said, I both said, we, said, we both mess up. Hallelujah. He said, you didn't handle me right. He said, I didn't handle me right. You didn't handle me right. So, but let's finish it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And my answer to him was a town. Each time I remember what I'm going to me, I'm happy. I thank God for using you as a weapon to take care of certain things in my life. Hallelujah. I said, I'm happy. And I'm telling you, can you mean that I'm happy? I wouldn't have been what I am. I would think I am in heaven. Hallelujah. Sit there. Not fulfilling the agenda of God upon my life. I would have been brought in useless. Hallelujah. Just like you people wanted it to be. But thank God for you. Sometimes you need to look at our enemy, those that are that, that is causing us. Man, instead of you popping up, instead of you getting angry, and all your nerves is getting up, and you are walking at your source and spirit. Hallelujah. You need to go back to them and say, Thank you. If not for you, hallelujah. If not for you, hallelujah. For, for, for Joseph, he will look at his brother. When he will look at him, he will smile. He say, If not for you. If not for you, I wouldn't have been here. Many a times we let our emotion override what God has done. And that's a sin against our lives. The Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. Can everybody help me say amen to me? Overcome. The next thing will be overcome that emotion. Let the Spirit of God rule in that emotion. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Galatians 5, 6 and 7. Hallelujah. Spoke of the Spirit of us. Hallelujah. Uh, 5, 16 to 18. Hallelujah. So we should allow the Spirit of God to project it to his in there. Amen. He said this, I said, walk in the Spirit and and you shall not fulfill the laws of the church. Hallelujah. When you walk in the Spirit, emotion has no place. Emotion has no place. Emotion only causes you to be scared. Hallelujah. The Lord will help us. Ephesians 5 18 says we should walk in spirit. We should not be drunk. Hallelujah. And when you are finding what you need to do, hallelujah. You need to put them away. Let anger be put away from your life. Colossians. Let's imagine the people in Colossians 3 7 to 10. Colossians 3 7 to 10. Hallelujah. Colossians 3. Colossians 3, 7 to 10. Yes. In the which we also walk sometimes when we live in them. But now we also put off all things and The Bible says it is a point. Now he also put all what? All this. Anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. Lie not to one another. See that ye have put all all the old man, which is what? Which is thee. And up and have put on the new man, which is what? Which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. Can someone say amen to that? Amen. Every day when we walk in spirit, before you live up, Holy Ghost, help me today. Help me, help me. My emotion be put in place. Hallelujah. I subject you flesh. You will not pop up for nothing today. Hallelujah. You will not react to something that you're supposed not to react to today. Only ghost take control. Amen. And let me tell you, you everything that you see just walk past. Amen. Hallelujah. The Spirit of God has taken care of it. They will talk to you. I was talking to you, it was not the other day. I said, what? The, the way I will react to something is not what Sister Dr. said. The way the Sister Dr. will react to you. Hallelujah. The difference is what the emotion. And the Spirit of God can capture emotion for you. Hallelujah. 
Emotion in most cases is the flesh popping up. Hallelujah. Amen. And God will deliver us. Hallelujah. But what you need to do, the last thing is to prevent it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If that government is sin, will not prosper. But if that forsaken them, hallelujah. Do a great with them, hallelujah. Prevent it from happening. The Bible says, shall obtain mercy. In conclusion, amen. Romans 12, 19 to 21. Let's read it together. Dear me, Lord, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. Hallelujah. Let's take it again. Dear me, Lord, avenge not yourself, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is within, then there is mine, I will repay self and God. Therefore, if that enemy number feed him, if he does, give him me. For in so doing, thou shalt give coal of fire on his head. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. Hallelujah. But overcome evil with good. Hallelujah. The best thing you're angry with is because you believe that he has, he has done something wrong to you. Hallelujah. The Bible says we should overcome evil with good. Hallelujah. Any, any question tonight? Can somebody take that electrical something from that book? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Question, question. Uh, is it that you already? Amen. My question is not purely on anger, but it's a related uh, issue. On the, uh, the passage we read concerning Cain. Okay. About um, the conversation between Cain and God. And God. Yeah. It's written that um, Abel brought his offering mm -hmm. and he was recognized by God. Mm -hmm. But Cain, Cain which is was all. not. And uh, Cain became like a long time. So how did he know that his offering was not accepted? And in those days, and what we learned as, a, as children in our sponsor school, that time, if God accepts your offering, it's, it's, it's vivid. It goes straight. You see the cloud, you see the smoke, go straight, boom. That's what we are taught. And when it's not accepted, it just it just going this way. <laughs> Sideways, amen. But when it's accepted, it goes straight. That's why we pray, let our offering come to you as a student. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know that sacrifice. Amen. So when it's not acceptable, boom, amen. Amen. It goes sideways, amen. And so he saw it that he was angry, amen. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. The spirit of anger will be taken out of our life in Jesus' name. Let's rise and just give praise to God tonight, amen. Lord, we give you praise in the name of Jesus. Lord, deep with spirit of anger. If they are still abandoning in you, O oh God, tonight, O oh God, uproot them in the name of Jesus. Lord, uproot them, O oh God. We worship you tonight. We worship you. We glorify your name, O God. Every form of anger, spirit of anger that want to destroy me, my Lord and my God, tonight, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we are praying. In Jesus' name we are praying. There is a song that I taught long time ago, and Jessica can quickly help me to see, look for it. It said, Let the be it of God. Let the be it of God be to be me me of least compassion of the beauty. Oh, thou spirit divine, oh, we lift to the light of nature divine, dear, the spirit of God is in spirit. Let, uh, let the beauty of God be seen in me. His beauty. Amen. Let. Google it. Amen. Let the. Okay. You got it. Let the beauty of Jesus be seen in me. Oh, me. Wonderful. Bad on
Spirit of compassion. Oh!